Endeavour Houston, we see a nominal Miko. Welcome to space. Hey, it's been here. But how do we get here? This is the ISS, or International Space Station. Now, it's really, really cool. I would go so far as to say that it's out of this world. Literally, it is 400 kilometers above the Earth. And in order to stay up there, it is orbiting around the Earth at seven kilometers per second. Now, how do we get to such a fast moving target? The answer to that is a practice known as orbital rendezvous. Rendezvous meaning to meet up, and orbital meaning, well, in orbit. But before we can do a rendezvous, we have to decide when we're going to launch, because we have to launch with very specific timing. Timing is important because the International Space Station's orbit is inclined to 51 degrees. What the heck does that mean? Well, what it means is that here's the equator, and here's the International Space Station's orbit, and the angle between them is 51 degrees. The inclination of the orbit means that as the Earth rotates underneath the orbit, the orbit will pass over all the launch sites used to get to it, such as the Kennedy Space Center for NASA and the Baikonur Cosmodrome for Roscosmos, the Russian space agency. But we can't just launch at any time because, say, if our launch site is here and the International Space Station's orbit is here, if we were to launch, our orbit would be like this, and uh, it wouldn't line up with the space station's orbit. We could change the orbit so that it would line up, but that would just take a ridiculous amount of fuel that no spacecraft has. So it's much easier for us to just play the waiting game. Wait for the Earth to rotate in such a way that our launch site is underneath the space station's orbital path. Then we can launch and our orbit will line up with the International Space Station and we can begin the rendezvous. Now to understand how we're gonna do this rendezvous, we have to know one of the most important rules of orbital mechanics. And that's that the lower your orbit is, the faster it will be. Now this does make sense. The International Space Station orbits the Earth once every hour and a half. Meanwhile, the Moon, which is much further away, orbits the Earth once every 27 and a bit days. Now this is important because we can't just launch straight up to the same height as the International Space Station because the International Space Station probably won't be in the right position for that, and even if it was, it's an amount of precision that we simply don't have. So we're going to launch into a phasing orbit. This is an orbit that's below the International Space Station, and because it's below the International Space Station's orbit, it'll be faster, and so we're going to catch up with the International Space Station. Once we're in the right position, we'll be able to raise our altitude, and then we'll match up with the International Space Station in the same place, at the same speed, and same time. To do that, we need to use a Hohmann transfer. This is two burns of our engine, and what it's going to do is raise us from a circular orbit of one altitude to a circular orbit of another altitude. We'll do this by speeding up here, turning our circular orbit into an ellipse, and then we're going to wait until we get round to the other side of the ellipse, fire up our engines to speed up again, and turn our ellipse into a circle. But wait a minute, why do we have to fire our engines to speed up? I thought higher orbits were slower. Yes, that's true, they are slower, but they have more energy total. That's because they're higher up, and so they have more gravitational potential energy. So what we're doing by speeding up here is we're adding speed energy. But as we climb uphill, that speed energy gets transferred into gravitational potential energy. And so while we're going uphill, we're actually slowing down until we end up in our higher orbit that actually has a lower speed than our low orbit. So yes, what I told you before was true, but getting between these two orbits took a bit of counterintuitive maneuvering. So yay, 
We're right next to the International Space Station right now, parked right next to it. How do we get inside? Well, that requires docking, but unfortunately, that's a whole other video in itself. This has been Orbital Rendezvous, and it's simply space.